Hello everybody, Gina Aliotti here. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna to share a really exciting tip with you. This is gonna make your life so easy and we are all about making things easy, aren't we? Okay, so first of all, if you haven't tried already my coconut almond pancakes, you must give these a try. These are my all-time favorite and everybody seems to love these. So there's six ingredients in the pancakes and you can search them on the network, but basically it's shredded coconut, protein powder, egg whites, water, little bit of baking powder, and then of course your almond meal. So there's no carbs, just good fats from your almonds and the shredded coconut. And um, you put that all together, make a nice batter, and you can place them on a pancake pan, make a pancake, or make them into muffins. So they're really good, an all-time favorite. Must give those a try. So I've already prepared my almond pancakes here in this bowl. So I've taken the recipe and I've actually made 12 servings. So rather than one serving, I just made everything 12 times over and I've made a large batter here of this almond pancake mix. And now what I'm going to do, this is the tip. So I have taken a Heinz tomato ketchup container, this plastic container here. I know everybody has ketchup in the refrigerator. I'm not a big fan of ketchup. If I do use it, I wanna make sure it's organic tomatoes, uh, but ketchup tends to have a lot of sugar in it. Sugar, yes, from the tomatoes, no big deal, but actually added sugar. So I'm really careful about not eating too much ketchup, but every now and then, you know, a little bit of ketchup is not gonna hurt you. So I know you have one of these containers in your refrigerator and um, either dump out the ketchup like I did <laughs> or wait until you're done, save these, and we are gonna use this to store our batter, our pancake batter. So whether you're making almond pancakes, your typical protein pancakes, whatever you're making, I'm gonna store the batter in this container. So I have this all cleaned out. I have my funnel here. And like I said, I have my batter of the almond pancake mix right here. And I am going to carefully pour this batter into the funnel. And it takes a little while for it to for it to drain. So you wanna just hold this here and kind of allow the batter to just nicely drip into this container. And um, we're gonna fill this up with the remainder of the batter. Okay, so now with a lot of patience, um, it takes a while for the batter to go through the funnel. So you wanna make sure that you use a pretty decent sized funnel, number one. Number two is if you're really careful, you can actually just kind of pour it from the bowl and use a spoon to gently place the batter into the ketchup bottle. But either way, with a little bit of patience, you get the batter in the ketchup jar, and now you have yourself your protein pancake mix in the ketchup jar, and all you have to do is squeeze it into your pan, just like so, and you have yourself your batter mix already pre-made and easy to use, easy just to squirt into your pan and prepare your protein pancakes. So like I said, depending on what kind of pancakes you're making, maybe it's the almond coconut, maybe it's your typical regular protein pancakes, whatever it may be, berry pancakes, whatever kind of pancakes you're making. So give this a try. You saw how easy it was for me just to pour the batter into the pancake pan. And the best part is, is now I'm just gonna place this in the refrigerator and I have myself my batter already pre-made and ready to go. All I have to do is squirt it into my pan and make my pancakes. So give this a try and I hope this really helps you make life a little bit easier for you as you prepare your meals in advance and have a healthy option, ready to go, pull it out of the refrigerator, pour it, and you've got yourself a great meal.